if I were to go back in time and take the money that I spent on Sting and spend it on Infested, totally would have did it. What's going on people? Alex Thorne here and I'm just a rock and roller who in his downtime likes to watch movies while wearing a bandana. I had to make a stop to fix the terrible impression that spider movies made on me with Sting with another spider movie, Infested. Infested was a movie that I was not aware was not American. It's actually a French made movie, entirely in French with English subtitles at the bottom. Caleb, who is passionate about exotic animals, who brings a venomous spider home, but it actually slips away. Soon the residents of the apartment building are battling an army of deadly, rapidly re reproducing spiders. First of all, I just wanna say that the actor himself who plays Caleb has got to be one of the most infuriating characters I've ever seen on the screen. Uh, if his goal was to play this character as a smarmy asshole who you want to see die, he did his job. No offense to the actual actor himself, which I've never seen in anything else. Um, their mother has passed away. Him and his sister live together. And they have, it's nothing but dysfunction. And clearly Caleb is not making ends meet, but he it wants to desperately be the man of the house, just doesn't really know how. He's young. This movie gets started very quickly. And the fact that this happens in an apartment building, again, this is very similar in premise to Sting because Sting also happens to take place in an apartment building, which is scary enough by itself. Infested does it the right way because these spiders, not only do they grow gigantically quickly, but they multiply. Like when you smash one, it just turns into a bunch of other smaller spiders. And here's what's the here's what's crazy to me is that I can't help but mention one with the other. As much as this is a review about infested, I cannot help but mention Sting because Sting is literally the one that came to American theaters while infested was on streaming. And this should have been boom, reversed, completely reversed because the special effects for the spiders in infested are I mean one hundred percent better than the special effects for the spiders in sting there's no comparison um as i mentioned before one looks like it should have been on the roku channel or a tubi original while the other one this movie looks like it's theater quality through and through every bit of it now once did i ever say to myself that's a fake spider every single moment that those spiders were on the screen i was like my god that's scary there's one moment where one of the female friends, her boyfriend, gets killed. She played the angst of hearing her boyfriend, right? Because he's he's been attacked by all these spiders, so they just got to leave him be or else, you know, the spiders are going to come into that room too. She and all of them hear him being devoured and yelling and screaming and dying. And she plays that so well because they have to hold her back from leaving the room to go get him. I was I was thinking to myself, what did this actress channel in her mind to get to that point? Because she really does look disturbed and she does look hurt and she does look like she's really experiencing this firsthand. And overall, this movie just does everything right. I hope. I truly do hope that if this movie comes out to physical media, that it gets a English overdub. That would be amazing. It just does everything right. If I would say anything, anything, anything negative about this movie, it's the score. When you hear my bandana rating for Infested, it's really going to come down for two reasons. For one, because my attention had to constantly be at the bottom of the screen. And two, the score. There is a rap, hip-hop, strong rap, hip-hop score that feels so out of place in this kind of movie. I would have rather have heard strings of horror uh, throughout this movie 
instead of random times of you know hip hop and rap coming up because it just doesn't do anything for the tension. Now, when the movie starts out, it's obnoxious. When it comes back into the movie in the middle, it's like, who chose this? And then when it comes back at the end after that whole ride, I don't want to launch into obnoxious rap hip hop. It just felt completely out of place. With all that being said, I think it's time to give Infested my bandana rating. And Shutter Original Infested is going to get three bandanas out of five. And those three bandanas are because I would love to watch this again with an English dub. But, you know, it's not the perfect movie. There are some people in it that are overplayed. The fact that it's in French with no overdub and that obnoxious rap music that comes in a few times in the movies and it's, and it's loud. That's the other thing. It's really loud. Uh, it just, you know, threw me off. But outside of that, compared to what I saw and I paid to see in the theaters, Sting, this is a masterpiece for three bandanas. Do you guys subscribe to Shudder? Did you rent this movie off of Vudu? Or is it available on another uh, a platform that you had to rent for? Let me know down below, because I feel like this is a sleeper hit that more people need to know about. And hopefully this review, and amongst everybody else's reviews on YouTube, brings some attention to it. Guys, I also want to mention the channel memberships. You know, once we get this going, I'll be doing watch alongs for ultimate members. I'll be doing lives for everybody in general, just hanging out. So I want you guys to become channel members because the plus tier, you're gonna get custom badges made by me, custom emojis you can use, recognition on the screen. For premium, you're gonna be able to have access to shaping the future of this channel with exclusive polls, exclusive videos, as well as live chat just for you guys. And then at the ultimate tier, my favorite tier, you're gonna to get to do watch alongs, you're gonna get mailed a physical card I have never seen anybody else on YouTube do this, and I've joined a few uh, memberships here. I've never seen anybody ship out a physical card for a membership, and you're gonna get that right here. Among so many other things, exclusive giveaways, uh, once merch comes along, you're gonna get percentages off of that. So I would love for you guys to join any tier, but the ultimate tier is definitely the most rewarding here on this channel. And if you don't feel comfortable with going that route yet, and you still wanna support me, you can either leave a super chat down below, a super thanks, or head over to buy me a coffee. And buy me a coffee is really cool too because I feel like we're gonna be going over there to do full-fledged watch-alongs because you know the uh, copyright gods here on YouTube are like constantly after people. So I feel like once we do those watch-alongs, we're probably gonna to have to cut those down massively. So if you wanna watch those in full without any BS going on, I might have to start uploading over there. Just those full watch-alongs of the movies, right? But nonetheless, you can always buy me a coffee. I love coffee. When I am editing here in the morning time, I love to make myself a cup of joe or head over to Chic Latte, which is down the street from me, and pick up a $5 coffee. You guys can help with that right here too. I'll leave a QR code. And as always, I've got a brand new single out called In Too Deep. This is my hardest song that I've released yet, and there's so much more to come, guys. Please, if you haven't yet, head over to Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, iHeartRadio, Pandora, I'm on all of them, and check out my music. I would really appreciate it. I am done with all the plugs for right now. I have to rock out so I can enjoy Bad Boys and start going down the Will Smith and Martin Lawrence trip because I'm excited to go and watch these movies. I'm Alex Thorne, and you know what I got to do. I got to rock out so I can watch some movies and review them for you.